This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Boom Williams all smiles with the L's down sign after Austin McGinnis kicked the eventual game winning 47 yard field goal that won the game for the football Cats Saturday against 11th ranked Louisville. The Governor's Cup is back in Lexington. Quarterback Steven Johnson right from the get go had it going. A 75 yard touchdown pass on the first offensive play for Kentucky and he did not stop there. Threw for 338 yards, three touchdowns and ran for a team high 83 yards, offensive coordinator Eddie Grand rated him on a scale of 1 to 10, and there was only one number to give Steven. 10. Uh, you, you can't, I mean, his legs today got us out of stuff, his decision making, his, his accuracy, I thought he was phenomenal. In this type of a situation, he was great. To, to come out here and play a complete game, we've been waiting for that the entire season. Um, to, to show what we can do, um, and I think we did that today, and uh, I'm just really proud of this office and of this team. It's big. It's really big. I know our coaches head out to recruit tomorrow. I think this win and us going to a bowl game will have something to do with us getting a lot of you know, good key players in, uh, in next year's class. Fun day to be in Louisville yesterday if you were a Kentucky Wildcat fan. While four mountain football teams will make the trip to Bowling Green later this week, the Pulaski County Maroons will make their fourth straight trip to the Class 5A state championship game. Pulaski got down 17 to nothing quick to South Oldham, but second half adjustments made a difference. Jackson Mobley and the boys made big defensive stops in crucial moments. Well, credit goes to our defense probably more than anything. They played really well. We, we, we made a few tinkering things. Coach Robertson, defensive staff, Coach Godby made some adjustments up front and, and kind of slowed down the run game a little bit and forced them to throw it a little bit more. And him just made plays. You know, Jake Johnson made a, a pick six that was huge in the game. Uh, Jake New had a pick to stop the drive down here early in the game. So uh, we made some really good plays defensively, even though gave up a lot of points. We made some good plays defensively to put it back in our favor. All right, the Pulaski County Maroons will meet Bowling Green in the Class 5A state championship Sunday, 8 o'clock tip time, or excuse me, kick time at WKU. Third time in four years the two teams have met in the title game. Well, the basketball Cats are in the Bahamas. Number one ranked and undefeated Kentucky is set to take on Arizona State Monday night. The Cats come off their best offensive performance, 111 points scored in the win over UT Martin Friday night, 24 assists for the team in that game. Their average is 19, and John Calipari likes how they have distributed the ball early in the season. We've had guys that took the fifth most shots be the number two pick, the seventh most shots, number six pick. So if you're really concerned about your NBA career, points and rebounds don't matter. Fight. Be able to guard multiple positions, you know, be able to go for 30 on a given night. And, and so now they, they play this way. I mean, we have a bunch of unselfish players that are making the extra pass, and it's great to see. The top ranked Cats in the Bahamas, and we'll take on the Sun Devils of Arizona State tomorrow, 7 o'clock, tip time on ESPN2. Up next in our EKU round ball preview series are the Hazard Lady Bulldogs. Not only did they lose their second leading scorer in Colby Johnson, but Harold Brashear's team will have to fight through some tough injuries early in the season. Not the healthiest team to start, but eighth grader Haley Cottle is back. She led the team in points last season, averaging 17 points per game. And Olivia Holland, she's healthy as well. Holland averaged close to 10 rebounds last year. Hazard's postseason run, though, came to an end quickly when they lost by eight points to Perry Central in the first round of the district tournament. The last game against Perry Central, our free throws. That's what killed us, and that's, that's been a big focus is our free throws because that, that could have moved us on from the district tournament. A lot of us gave up in the fourth quarter and didn't play defense as well as well we should. And we got a little bit selfish. I feel like that we have uh, built on each year I've been there. Uh, you know, we doubled our wins the, from first to second year. Uh, last year uh, had a lot more successful season. And, and, you know, this year we've got the talent to make a push uh, for the LA, for the district, for the region. But, you know, it, it, you got to go one game at a time. And, you know, we really don't, uh, we don't talk about what we're going to do a month from now or two months from now, you know, our ultimate goal, you know, we stress, you know, winning the district tournament, winning the regional tournament, uh, winning the LA. But, you know, we more or less, uh, I, I preach to my kids, every day you come in the gym, 
try to leave the gym just a little bit better. And, and you know, if we do that throughout the year, everything else will take care of itself. And the Bengals lose to the Ravens today, so the Ravens are now first in the division. That's sports, and we'll be back.